man is motivated by the desire to achieve, not by the desire to be others. And Rand, get better today. Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna be using this video to give you guys a raw inside look of what it looks like to go through one of my workouts. So today's gonna be one of my typical power building days. We have heavy benching, then we also have a chest and back workout after. Then after that, we got a little bit of posing for bodybuilding and cardio in terms of like moving around and getting the body sweaty. So right now, uh, we haven't really started the workout, but I'm getting my body warmed up and sweaty before I start benching because I don't wanna go into the work. I don't wanna go into benching cold. So what I do before I start my workouts, I spend about 10, about maybe five to 10 minutes running around the gym and getting myself uh, kind of sweaty. Okay, now that I'm sweaty and I have the blood flowing through my body, it's time to warm up my shoulders. So what, I, what you're about to see me do is a tri-set. So I do uh, three sets of 15. Okay guys, so I'm probably warmed up to start benching. Now I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be doing today for the piloting portion of this workout. So I'm supposed to work up to a heavy single of an RPE 8, so that probably means around 380 pounds to 405 pounds depending on how I feel and how the weight's moving for today's workout. A lot of guys ask me how do I work up to like a, a heavy single or something like that, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I basically go through bench and only do one rep leading up to my heavy single. I'll do the bar for one, 45 for one, 225 for one, 315 for one, 365 ish for one, 380 for one, depending on if that's gonna be my final set, and then maybe 405 for one. Every single set is one rep. Okay guys, I want you to pay attention to my setup before I bench. Now, there's nothing special about it, but I think it's very important to have a setup that you're able to go through on a consistent basis because that's gonna help you lift heavier weights. If you're executing your setup on the lightweight, that's gonna kind of mentally help you whenever it's time to lift some heavy weights. All you have to do is just go through what you normally go through in order to lift the weight. So normally I like stand up and kind of brush my legs off and get in position and get my arch going before I lift the weights. And if I repeat that, from the lightest weight to the heaviest weight, it's gonna it's gonna create kind of like a consistency to where I'm like, whenever I get to heavy weight that I haven't tried before, I just have to make sure that I'm going through my motions and that's gonna bring confidence whenever I get to the heavy weight. So whenever I get to like 420 pounds, I'm like, okay, all I have to do is go through what I normally go through. Just act like it's lightweight, brush off your knees, get in your bench, uh, get, in your, get in your little arch, fix yourself on bench and lift the weights, just like you did it for the 135 pounds. So if I, if I have a repeatable setup, that's just gonna help me lift the weights and get my mind right whenever it's time to PR or do some weight that I've never done before. Okay guys, so we have 405 pounds on the bar, so 380 moved pretty fast, so it wasn't so much of an RP8. So I'm just gonna go ahead, bump it up 405, and see how it moves. Okay guys, we wrapped up the bench by doing a four by four with 350 pounds. So if you guys wanna know how long I weigh in between sets, I actually do wait like two to five minutes between sets. I wanna make sure that I'm fresh and I'm able to give each set as much as I possibly can to make sure that each RPE is where it needs to be. Now after we did the 350 for a four by four, we moved on to a three by eight with a wider grip bench. So that meant my middle finger was gonna be on the bench rings. So I did a three by eight, it was supposed to be an RPE seven. I think I underestimated myself and went with 275 pounds. I should've done like maybe 290 to 300, but 
like once again guys like I'm really fatigued at this point so it's like in my head everything feels heavy but when I go back and look at footage and look at myself lifting it's relatively moving pretty fast now we're moving on to the bodybuilding portion of this workout so the rest time is gonna be a little bit shorter and I'll be trying to like make sure that I'm sweating and my heart rate is constantly up and my pump isn't going away so once again guys I'm going through a chest and back workout so what we're gonna start off the workout by doing is gonna be some dumbbell incline bench press. So we're gonna superset that with some dumbbell rows. So, <clears throat> first set, it's gonna be out of the way. We have 120 pounds for the dumbbells. It's gonna be maybe about, I wanna say, eight to 10 reps. Oh. so tired right now but this is good like it's hot here in texas and the combination of like lower rest times it's really tiring but it feels good okay guys i'm trying to i'm trying to calm myself down i'm fatigued i'm sweaty i'm tired but it's, it's like a good workout this is good this is good i'm sweating okay so the next move we're going to be doing is be some landmine chest pressing we're gonna superset that with some dumbbell pullovers so for the landmine chest press we're gonna do about maybe 10 to 15 reps depending on how I'm feeling and then after that we're gonna do about 8 to 10 reps on the dumbbell pullovers so all right let's get let's get to work Alright guys, so we're reaching the end of the weight portion of this workout. So what I'm going to be doing, uh, last thing I'm going to do is a superset. So it's going to be some cable flies, and we're going to superset that with some V-bar pull-ups. So we're going to do like maybe 8 to 10 reps of the flies, and then maybe like, I don't know, my back is fried. Probably like 8 reps of the V-bar pull-ups. Okay guys, it's post-workout. So once again, this is like the posing portion of the workout that I do like time to time whenever I finish up lifting. So I'm not dieting down for a show, but I need to make sure I'm able to hit my bodybuilding poses because I need to make sure my muscles are conditioned. So like people don't understand if you are a bodybuilder, you have to keep hitting these poses because if your muscles aren't conditioned, this is when you start shaking like that. So whenever you do decide to compete again and you haven't been practicing, Whenever you hit those poses, you're gonna be like shaking like this. Cause you hold those poses for quite some time. So I'm even this, it's like my off season, I'm a powerlifter right now, but I still practice these poses. So we're gonna start off with the front double bot. Hold it, release. Now front lat spread, bring out the quads a little bit more. Hold it, there we go. All right, now we're gonna do, gotta show the hammy hanging. You can't really see it, but show the hammy hanging. All right, now side tricep. Now side chest. Yeah. 
Finish it off, just most muscular. <sighs> then we, of course, we got the, the normal poses. And side chest. Woo! So it's like my muscles and body is like getting beat up just from posing. So once again guys, I still hit my poses in my off season after my workouts to keep my muscles conditioned. Okay guys, we have wrapped up the complete workout. Now I did say I was gonna do my football cardio routine, but like, I sweated enough, like I'm super, super tired and I have squatting tomorrow, so there's some days where I just do not do the full amount of cardio that I should. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip that I did, like I, I filmed this like a couple of days ago and it's like the football routine cardio stuff that I went through. Just like a little clip about that to give you guys more of insight of what I do on a daily basis. But yeah, I hope you guys were able to enjoy my power building day. Like I just wanted to give you a raw feel of what I do on a daily basis with the whole bench and then moving on to a chest and back work workout right after. And then the posing and then the cardio that I would have done. But this video is coming to end guys. Woo, I'm super tired. It's time to go home, get some Chipotle and enjoy the rest of this weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. In a world with kids my age are popping mollies with leather. Sitting on Tumblr, never outside or enjoying the weather.